Welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and this is my living room. Today I'm going to bring you a quick haul of items that I've gotten to help make that wreath. Uh, <clears throat> a couple of items that I got for the front porch and um, I pulled down some, uh, some of my decorations from upstairs that I want to put on the front porch. I want to do a red and blue theme on the front porch because those are my school colors so I'm trying to do the whole school colors front porch for graduation at 55 <laughs> all right let's get to the haul okay when you need to check off is it a want is it a need we're gonna put this in the want okay but actually I do need um, this is one of the new happy planners that I was telling you about that has the new layout. I, I went to Michael's and I didn't see them there, so I'm thinking this might be a Walmart only. But it's called a um, Classic Simply Layout. Okay. And it's 12 months from July 2023 to June 2024. And, of course, this one's been opened. Whatever. Uh, so you have your front page. You have your calendar. Then you have July. Then you have your month layout. But what I really like is the weekly layout. It's almost like a dashboard. Well, I guess it is a dashboard. Because it's two weeks at a time. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was something different. I guess because they labeled it new. I don't know, but it's a dashboard layout, but whatever, I got it. <coughs> All right, let me get something to drink. Ballin'. <coughs> hey, baby. Hey, I love you. Oh, I love you, boo -boo. allergies. <laughs> Pollen, right there. All right. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the other day I had gotten the, all right. <coughs> Kept having a coffin spilled. Let's hope that's over with. So, you know, the other day I bought the blue ribbon with the red smaller whip ribbon with the white dots to use in my wreath <clears throat> so I thought you know I always do opposite colors I don't know why I didn't pick this up earlier but it's the red wired glittery with a blue smaller polka dot it's different and it's a little bit larger um, then the red and white, you know me and my middles, where's the middle? Anyway, um, but I think it's going to be fine, and, um, I don't mind that these dots are smaller, because I really don't want it to look like 4th of July, I want it to really focus on the red and the blue, with, li ah! with little hints of white. <clears throat> we don't do that, sir. Um, I got a couple of pack of packs of gemstones. They're 97 cents a piece. And I figured I could take a couple of die, two or maybe three or four dice, I don't know, and put these really itty-bitty gems 
on their little dots and make them pink and white or black and pink or whatever and give those to my niece um, when she does the rolling of the dice for one of her savings challenges. So I wanted to put that together for her. From the dollar store, I wanted to put some faux flowers in my watering can out front. So I just got two of these um, azaleas. I just thought they were pretty. And then just two of these blue lilacs. And we'll just, you know, put them together, mush them together, do whatever. Make them look pretty out there. <clears throat> so I'm going to put those in my watering can. I went upstairs and I got my blue lantern and my red lantern lantern they are small enough to go on that table that's between the two rocking chairs and my third black um, lantern I don't know why I brought it in I must have used it for something <clears throat> but he can go back outside um, all right, so back to the Dollar Tree. I bought this for myself. It's just a little keychain. And it says 2023, looks like a tassel. And then I got blue necklaces because I have the red squiggly stuff that I'm gonna put into the wreath, but I can't find blue. So I thought, well, I could change it up and take one of these necklaces and cut them down and just tie this into my ribbons. I've done that before. So I might just do that. We'll see. Um, oh! I had to go to two different dollar stores. I was looking for the blue squiggly. Can't find it, but I did find at this one, my favorite Gertz's. Oreo flavored caramels by Gertz. So I bought mm, two bags. I did really good today. <clears throat> I decided I was not going to drink soda. So I drank water all day. And then I went to the dollar store and bought two bags of candy and came home and had some soda. <laughs> Whatever, I try. Is that all I got? Wow, that's all I got. Okay, so let's go out on the front porch. We'll put the flowers out and these lanterns out. And then we'll go up to the craft room and start prepping the items to make a wreath.
Didn't check them. Got an empty stem. All right, so the first thing I want to do, we're going to start working on this wreath tonight because it's a, it's going to be a multi-day process. But I will take all of my ribbons and cut them at nine inches, <clears throat> and I will take all of my mesh and cut it at six inches. So let's start with the mesh which is not going to be fun because i just vacuumed in here the other day i'm going to gather all of my supplies all right so <clears throat> what i do is i will take this mesh I'll clean up this end in a minute. I guess I should do that now. Oh, I guess I should. Kind of makes sense. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my allergies. What I do is I will take my mesh and I cut it at six inches long. Um, this is, you can do whatever size you want. Uh, whatever makes you happy, you go for it. But I cut mine at six inches. 
don't want to use these scissors. And, uh, I tell you what, I just cleaned this craft room and I cannot find a single thing. Uh, what is going on? <sighs> yep, creative memories. Okay, we like to hold on to our craft supplies for 20 years. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through and hope that this spool has enough. I think we're good. Um, and cut it at 6 inches. Roundabouts, six inches. Doesn't have to be exact, which is very hard for me, but whatever. I have to get over it. Could just cut it with scissors. Apparently that's the way to go because my roller is not very sharp anymore. I've used it on so many wreaths that it just is like, mm, no, not going to be working anymore. <clears throat> so, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, Six. Sorry if you don't like the crinkling noise, but I love hearing it on videos, so I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that says, Oh, sorry for the noise. No, child, I like the noise. Let the noise happen. Anyway. I don't think my camera microphone picks up. Picks up noise that much anyway. Or that easily or that loud, clearly, loudly. We don't know. Words are hard when you worked all day. And I worked my bit off today. Because... Because next week we start exams in the law school. And so I had to print exam questions and get them ready and put them together. Get them ready to start handing out to the little nervous law school students next week. So, I don't wait. I get it all done the minute it's given to me so that when exam time comes, I'm ready. This is the last one I'm going to cut for this. And I'll just show you. Do I have any pipe cleaners? I don't know. Oh, Lord. Where would I look? Oh, yes, I know where I look. Right here. All right, I'm going to take my pipe cleaners. Fold them in half. Got them right up the middle. Okay. So that's all I'm going to be doing off of camera is... Getting all of my mesh ready, cutting it at six inches, cutting these, taking them in half, cutting them. Okay, then I will take them and I will put all of my red mesh into one bag.
all of my blue mesh into another bag. Sorry, hit the camera. I'm going to put these to the side right now and I'll show you how I cut my ribbon. So I cut my ribbons a little bit longer at 9 inches. So I don't think that these scissors are going to do the job. <clears throat> have to use these. Okay, so do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there. Okay. Mm. Love a good pair of scissors. All right. You know, I usually don't mix my scissors like that. These are for cutting paper. My other ones are for, you know, cutting ribbons, whatever. But I, it, we don't know where they are right now. All right, so. Right here. Okay. So that's how that will go. Okay, then I will put this in a bag for just blue ribbons. And I will take this and cut this at 9 inches. I will also cut this at 9 inches. I went to two different dollar stores, probably already said this, but I'm old and senile, so pretend you haven't heard it. But... I could not find any blue curly Q stuff. I don't know what squigglies. I call these squigglies because they're just cool and they squiggle. But I cut these at nine inches as well. If I can find the end, I just saw it. Now I've lost it. Hold on. We're getting there. Maybe. All right. So yeah, I just take this. I don't stretch it. I just let it lay there. Cut it about nine inches and I'll put that in a bag. These necklaces, I will probably use this on the wreath. I say probably. I might. I might not. We don't know. This is what creating's all about. It just kind of hits you and it's like, hmm, okay. What do that? Okay. <clears throat> That's fun. So then I'll just take this, cut it anywhere. Oh, does it come apart? Oh, it does. Okay. So take this, cut it at that nine inch mark right between the beads. Everything's fine, and it's cute in a wreath with this, with your ribbons. It's just really cute. So, it'll be fun. So, yeah, mesh is cut at six inches, ribbons, squigglies, um, adornments, not adornments, uh, whatever words are that I can't think of, they will be cut at nine inches. And tomorrow, I will come back, I'll have everything cut, and we will go through and put start putting 
a couple of the bundles together and maybe even get a couple on this wreath and so yeah that's what we'll do all right so i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow i hope you're enjoying that you're getting more content because i'm excited all right guys thanks for watching as always i appreciate appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for clicking on this video for subscribing for liking for leaving me comments i appreciate each and every one of you and if you haven't subscribed please do hit subscribe because now that I am graduating, you know, I will have more time to bring more videos, more content, more shopping, more hauls, more, more crafts, more cooking, more cleaning, all the good stuff. And I look forward to every second of it, of it, to spend it with you. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Bye.